What's up guys, I'm JJT. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over the You Can't Handle the Truth achievement. In my last video I said we were going over the You Can't Handle the Truth achievement, but that was actually the You Really Can't Handle the Truth achievement. A little confusing, but that one was for the par score. This one's for the par time on Truth and Reconciliation, and this one is just called You Can't Handle the Truth. So we're just trying to get through this mission as quickly as we possibly can, and to start things off, you want to go ahead and kill all your Marines. So that way it's going to save us some time later on in the mission, and we'll get to why once we get there. But kill all your Marines right off the bat. You can grenade them as soon as they come off. I, I should have grenaded them right as soon as they came off, save a little bit more time, but yeah, it's a lot easier if you just grenade them as they're coming right off the Pelican. Then you want to get run through here, just, you know, you can kill stuff on the way if you want, but really you're just trying to get through here as quick as possible without stopping and messing around too much, because you're just trying to get the mission done as quick as possible. It's not too hard to get this mission done in 20 minutes on easy. Even if you fight the enemies, you can probably manage it. You might cut it close, but uh, if you want to get it done as quick as possible, if you're just trying to hop in this mission just to get this achievement, then yeah, this is the best way to do it. Just run through here and just get all the enemies. Don't even worry about it. You can run right here. You can crouch jump onto this rock to save a little time. I missed it because I suck at crouch jumping, apparently. But yeah, if you make that crouch jump, save yourself another couple seconds. That's really good for legendary because it'll help you skip the left side of the map a little bit better so they'll have less opportunity to kill you now once you get to this part where we're up under the ship you do have to kill all the enemies right here so we're gonna go ahead and take all these guys out this drop ship will come by faster if you kill all the enemies as quickly as possible so And she's going to call, this is where we save the time like I was talking about. Fohammer is going to drop off the Marines now since we have no Marines left. She's going to go ahead and drop five Marines off now instead of waiting until right before we get on the lift. You kill these enemies, throw a grenade, and you can do a little cycle right here where you're hitting them with a grenade every time as soon as they spawn. If you get really good at timing that, then you can just constantly hit them with that nade as they come down and just mow all these enemies down in just a couple seconds. And I believe that's all of them there. So next up will be the hunters. So you just get up here and uh, stand kind of right here. If you're really good and quick with it, you can uh, get both of these hunters in one go right here before they can even do anything. Looks like they're taking a while to get down here. But yeah, just snipe them in their back with your sniper rifle, one hit kill. And then you've already got your marines here, so they're going to all get on here and this is where you're going to save a lot of time because we killed our Marines, so she dropped them off early, so they're going to hop on here and we can, we get in here really fast. Otherwise, it would wait until the very end of that part to drop off Marines, and then you'd be standing there waiting for her to drop off the next batch for like 45 seconds, and then it lets you go up the lift. So, save a lot of time there by killing your Marines at the very beginning of the mission. Right here on this part, uh, you're not you have to kill all the enemies here. Unless, you know, you know how to speed run and do the wraith trick. There's a little trick where you can uh, use the wraith by blowing it up and setting yourself up in a certain spot. You can get yourself out of the map right here. Uh, if you know how to do that, then you're able to just skip past this part. But other th otherwise, you have to kill all these enemies in here. So that's what we're going to do. Pretty much all of these little sequences like this, you're just going to be paying attention to your radar and waiting for wherever the enemies are coming from being prepared these enemies are taking ridiculously long to come out of here for some reason yeah just take all of them out as soon as they come out we see they're coming out over here get a grenade in there just keep paying attention to your radar Go 
got a checkpoint. So once that checkpoint hits, you can kill these jackals right here. Hopefully with better aim than me. And then you got to wait on this door to open right here. So if you're just trying to be ready for everything. Make sure you're heading down the right pathways. Know your way around the map. Just run up through here. And once you get in here, basically you want to get down here and kill as many enemies down here as possible, as quickly as possible. And then you're going to be waiting for enemies to come out of these doors. So you see they spawn right here. So we can go ahead and head in here now. Normally you'd have to stand in this room and fight the enemies wave after wave because these doors stay locked. But if you see enemies spawn through these doors, then you can go ahead and head through here, skip all that fighting completely and head on to the next area. Save yourself quite a bit of time there too. And once again, we're back to just running through here, getting through as quick as we can. This next area, you are going to have to kill all the enemies in here also. So, there's an elite that spawns up there you're going to want to get. Here's another one. Here's another one. And we got most of these enemies right here pretty quick. This is going to be another one of those situations, like I said, where the enemies are going to be coming in wave after wave, and you just have to kill them as quickly as possible. Just pay attention to where they're coming from on your motion tracker. There's always a batch that comes in up here that you'll want to have your sniper for to take out as quick as possible. Then you move on over to this side. Looks like we got some another enemy somewhere over there. But once you get over here, they're going to start talking about opening that door at some point. And uh, once they do that, the hunters are going to come out of this door right here. And you just want to be prepared for that and kill them as quick as possible. Once you kill those hunters, you can move on. Oh, Sergeant Johnson just got murdered. Got some enemies coming around over here. You don't really have to worry about the enemies up top too much. I kill them, you know, if I get the opportunity to. But you mostly want to worry about the what the enemies down here on the bottom floor. And now they're talking about the door, like I said earlier. We got once we kill these batches of enemies right here, then the hunters are gonna spawn. You'll hear the music cue also when the hunters are spawning. And there's the music cue, and here they are coming out of the door here. As soon as you kill these guys, you just go over here and stand by the door. One shot with a sniper to their little orange fleshy area is good enough. Take your over shield, stand by this door. This door is the door that's going to open for you to go through. You just have to wait a second for it. And then we're back to just running through here as quickly as we possibly can. Don't stop and worry about the enemies. You know, you can kill what you can on the way. And there's going to be a little trick that we're going to, I'll show you guys once we get down here to where Captain Keys is so that we can kind of skip some of the mission and save some time. There is a way uh, that you can skip the, the last sequence of the this mission completely. I haven't figured out how to do that myself. Uh, I could look online and find out probably, but, uh, but there is a way that we can skip the dialogue at least and that'll save us a lot of time there so I'll show you guys how to do that 
We're just making our way, way to keys here. This room is another room where you're going to have to kill all the enemies in it in order to move on. You got three elites in here and then a bunch of grunts. And then a jackal's going to come out of the side door over here also. Once you kill all them, this door over here is going to open and you can resume just running past everything as quick as possible. Just making our way to Keys as quick as we possibly can here. We're only at ten and a half minutes, so we still got nine and a half minutes to complete the mission. So plenty of time. We're almost at the end of the mission as it is, and we still have a little area where we can save some time also. Kill all the enemies in this next room, so that way you can break keys out. Bust keys up out of here and I'm gonna show you guys how we can skip this last part here too. Or not skip it completely, but you'll be able to skip the dialogue once you get into the next room. So the skip the cutscene here. You're gonna want to kill one of your Marines right here. And then you're just heading on through. Kill you wanna kill the enemies as you're going through here because you don't want keys to accidentally get killed. They're taking forever to get caught up to me right here. We're going to wait for them to catch up. I don't know why they're lagging so far behind. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and kill another Marine. And now we can kill the last Marine too. And so now Captain Keys is going to be your enemy, which is what you want. Because this, ha, not having those Marines there is going to skip that dialogue in here. But Keys is chasing us. Come in here. Kill these guys. And now Keys is going to be our enemy, and they're not going to do any of this dialogue right here. So when you get right here, that you can actually skip... You want to uh, protect Keys here, obviously, uh, even though he's your enemy right now. But yeah, we can go ahead and head on through here. And uh, it skips all the dialogue there since the Marines aren't even alive to have the dialogue. Normally, you're going to be stuck in that room for like another 45 seconds to a minute discussing what you guys are going to do to get out of here. But since we killed all those enemies, you don't have to do all that. You just head straight here, hit the button, and then that's going to be mission complete. And Keys is even back on my side now, so you know he's not too mad about me killing the three teammates either. But yeah, as you can see, we did that in 13 minutes and 19 seconds. Pretty easy, quick way of running through the mission. You can do it even quicker than that if you do some of the speed run methods. I think Garish has completed this mission in like six minutes and 30 seconds. So you can really do some crazy stuff on this mission. But anyway, that's how you achieve the part time and get the You Can't Handle the Truth achievement on Truth and Reconciliation. If you guys like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel's growth. I thank you guys for supporting the channel and watching my videos. I'll talk to you next time. JJT out.